another video. And in this video, I'm on the Detroit River again, but this time I'm in my own boat. So uh, got the old uh, 89 Everwood and a uh, 16 foot uh, Lumacraft on the uh, Detroit River today. And uh, I'm gonna see what we can do. Today is Halloween. So hopefully the walleyes will be biting. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm using. I stopped in at a, a dip net bait and tackle and uh, got some, picked up some minnows and a couple jigs and plastics that they said were, were hot. So uh, that's the color I'm starting with. But yeah, hopefully I can't keep any fish. I can't cook them at my uh, college dorm. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get on today. Let's do this. There's one. All right, guys. First fish of the morning. Didn't take too long. I've only been fishing for about 10 minutes of that. Little guy. Oh, it's picking up weight now. Oh yeah, just a beautiful fish, man. Beautiful fish. Definitely gonna have this one. Fatty, fatty. He came right on that stinger. Hook popped out. Just a beautiful first fish. Beautiful first fish of the morning. Probably a nice fat, uh, probably 19, 19 inch, but super healthy, man. Beautiful looking fish. Hit it on the on the drop. I felt it. Doesn't feel too big. Thought I missed one a second ago too. Yeah, not bad. This guy was active. He had the uh, main hook there. I mean, definitely, definitely still an eater. Probably uh, 15, 16 incher for sure. Nipping at me, man. A smallmouth. That's cool. <clears throat> Super small one, but he wasn't really even fighting. He just kind of swiped after the bait here. Sweet. All right, guys. I'm switching up baits. Uh, just picked up these up today. Lady at the uh, bait shop told me that these were the hot color, so. We'll see how it uh, produces. Super nice jig as they sell there too. You can just tell they're super high quality. But uh, all right, guys, switched up the color and jig head. See what we can do. Lost my other one on the rocks. There we go. Uh, wind has picked up, so sorry if the audio is bad. But hopefully uh, we can catch a couple more here. Get you guys out of the wind. You got that uh, stinger, very key. Those light bites. That's what I've got them on. They probably would be just legal. There you go. Get some more. There's one. 
Guys, that wind really picked up, man. I had to put my gloves on for the first time. Doesn't feel like a very big one. And not a bad one. I'm telling you guys, that stinger is so key. I keep saying that, but it really is. It's a game changer with the amount of fish you'll get. That's another beautiful fish. Shit on the way down. Well, the dude is dropping. Doesn't seem like a very big one. Still, you know, a nice eater for sure. You can tell they're not aggressive just because they keep hitting the, uh, the stinger and not the uh, main hook. But this is my uh, sixth fish, I think. So if I was keeping fish, I'd have my limit. You know, not a bad fish, I'll take it. There's one. New spot, guys. Try to get out of the wind. And, uh, my second pass on this. Take control of the boat here. Ah. Biggest one of the day for sure. Sweet. This guy actually had the uh, main hook, but not the stinger. Look at that. Beautiful fish, probably a 20, 21 incher easily. Beautiful fish. Just had to get out of that wind. I couldn't stay in that stretch with this really strong south wind. So there he goes. Just uh, basically just working this little stretch here that we've caught fish in the past uh, in the spring. So might as well hit it in the fall. And uh, it produced. So let's see if we can get some more. Pretty good. That was an interesting run. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a pig. It's a big one, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's a nice one guys, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a nice one, Look at that fish, guys. That's a tank. I mean, he's not that long, but just fat. Healthy, healthy fish. He's probably 24, 25 inches. Beautiful fish. All right, guys, beautiful fish. My estimate is probably 25, 20, around 25 inches, but just a beautiful fish. Definitely gonna have to get a nice release. Boom, right back down to the bottom. Sweet guys. 
Yeah, well, that definitely kicked up the day, but uh, that was a super nice one. Let's get some more. All right, guys, wrapping up the day of the Detroit River. The wind pretty much kicked me off at the end there. It got really bad and a pretty rough boat ride back, especially in my little 16 foot uh, tiller, but uh, made it back okay. Uh, caught nine fish in total, uh, started at the Ambassador Bridge, went to the Gordy Howe, and uh, got like six fish on that drift pass. But that drift pass takes uh, like an hour and a half. So I uh, so got six fish there. And then after that drift pass, uh, I tried hiding in the wind and got uh, two nicer ones. So uh, yeah, nine fish in total, not bad for about four hours on the river. Uh, all those fish were released. And uh, I say the key today, again, was you know staying vertical on your jig. Uh, it was tough at times today because that one was so strong out of the south. But I was pretty much focused on like, keeping my line vertical and keeping that jig right on the bottom and found the most success. And uh, I'm sure that minnow helped too because a nasty cold front went through super cold out but uh yeah today's uh halloween so and the walleyes were biting it's always good and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace